Competition can be so distracting. We've had a fast follower who was a copycat um, and replicated a lot of what was in our app. And it's so stressful and so personal that it can really drain you and, and distract you. And distraction is your biggest um, threat or risk. Um, so whenever the competition's closing in, I think seeing it as an opportunity to learn from their mistakes. <laughs> um, so keeping an eye on them and understanding what they're doing and you can learn from, really important. Um, as well as um, just refocusing on your strategic path and priorities um, is, is just so important. So we just make an effort to refocus whenever competition comes up um, and understanding very clearly your points of strength and differentiation and singing them, you know, loud and making them loud and clearly known. The landscape is evolving. I think understanding trends and being sensitive to those is important. So I'm seeing people who previously only provided for or really thought about the provider now are having to cater to the patient and engage patients and build out that whole side of their business and vice versa. So um, that has been validating for us because we've, start, we've, we've gone in that direction as well, but we also need to move quickly to make sure we double down on that and, and stay ahead of the, the curb. When it comes to commercialising a mobile health app, um, my biggest advice would be to know what is sacred um, and protect that. So for your business, what is the thing that gives you a real edge and do not compromise on that. Um, it's very easy to get desperate because things take time in healthcare. Um, and there'll be temptation to cross ethical, um, you know, lines or to monetize in an area of your business that you don't feel quite comfortable with. Um, but maintaining your integrity and waiting it out and, you know, moving through those hurdles as they come will pay off in the long term. Um, yeah, I've, I've, seen, I've seen mobile health founders that have monetized on their user, on their end users and then, um, yeah, they've, they've, it's wasted a lot of their time or they've sold their users data to different groups for a one-time hit that's cost them their reputations. There are so many apps out there. I think the ones that will survive are the ones who have research backing. Like proving what you're doing works is becoming increasingly important and an increasing competitive advantage. The bar has been raised by a couple of companies and now everyone needs to try and get there. Um, secondly, HIPAA compliance and security, which will win you those customers um, that will allow you to survive long enough to gain other customers and to continue to iterate. Um, and third, those ones that secure major partnerships, I think, and major customers. Um, the reality is that if you can get a, a couple of, you know, licensing agreements or a couple of big partnerships, that's going to give you more runway and more leverage to get more partnerships. And getting the first couple, the ones that get their first couple, I think are more likely to go the distance.